Like and them. subscribe right now, or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Selfies are easy and harmless enough to take. Just turn a camera around, strike a pose, and record yourself in a memorable place and time. However, incredible and sometimes dangerous events can unfold during that moment of inattention. Fun fact, most selfie deaths have occurred by people taking selfies in front of oncoming trains. So selfies can be dangerous, and in this video we will be looking at some of the most dangerous ones uploaded on the internet. Kiev, Ukraine. Let's start with the craziest picture you'll see today. Just look at this one, making us feel extremely dizzy. These two may just be the craziest yet. While the girl lays on the top of the platform of the bridge, the guy is standing on top of it to get the most dramatic shot. The railing he's standing on is not even as wide as his feet are. No thanks. How both of them were able to get up and down from here safely is astounding. We see the top of the traffic rushing below and the entire bridge architecture all in one photo. While the image is without a doubt breathtaking, we can't imagine there are people out there brave and crazy enough to even attempt to capture this moment. Ball smash. Reporter Kelly Nash was in Fenway Park watching batting practice when she decided to capture the moment in a selfie. A ball flew past her head right at the camera recording a photo. Nash did didn't realize a baseball had nearly slammed into her head until later. She told Fox Sports Florida, When I went to text my family the picture, I noticed the baseball by my head. That must be some story for Thanksgiving dinner, right? London's Tower Bridge. So, does this guy have a death wish, or is he just really crazy? A popular YouTuber known as Cass Online is a stuntman, always on the lookout for danger. He took his GoPro selfie in January 2017 after climbing on top of London's iconic Tower Bridge. He took a whole video of the ordeal, which he then posted to his account and blew up all over the internet. He was detained and interviewed after his incredibly dangerous stunt, but he was never arrested for it. At what point do you say enough is enough? High Crane in Hong Kong Couple goals or two kids just looking to get in trouble. A couple known for their daredevil stunts took things to a whole new height by climbing atop Hong Kong's highest crane. They had nothing on them except for a backpack and a selfie stick, obviously. They filmed their climb hundreds of feet high to get this epic selfie, which very easily could have turned into tragedy. Angela Nicolu and boyfriend Ivan Burka seem to do this kind of thing a lot and probably won't stop anytime soon. Jellyfish Lake. Whatever you do, don't get stung. Photographer Nadia Ali embarked on a scuba diving adventure of epic proportions in the magical Jellyfish Lake, which can be found in the beautiful Palu Oceana. Of course, she just had to document her encounter with hundreds of jellyfish swimming around her by taking a selfie. The one right above her head is making us a little nervous. But we're hoping she got through this unscathed. Kick in the head. Jared Michael was taking a selfie along a railway when a train zoomed past him at full speed and just inches away. The train's conductor kicked Michael in the head mid-selfie, presumably to get him out of harm's way. Michael walked away uninjured, and his original April 2014 YouTube video of the incident went viral. He recently posted an explainer video in which he calls himself a dummy and the selfie attempt a stupid mistake. The video has 39 million views. Number 3. A Selfie with a Shark While we're in the sea, let's stay inside for a while. Leave it to an avid scuba diver and professional photographer to attempt this crazy underwater selfie with none other than a shark. I mean, has he ever seen Jaws? Aaron Gagoski went on a dive trip with some of his pals, oceanic black tip sharks. Of course, he documented the entire encounter by taking lots of shark selfies that will make your jaws drop. Because if you don't take a photo of it, did it even happen? New Heights in Hong Kong From bottom of the sea to top of the world, leave it to Alexander Remnev to get another crazy shot. He's always on the hunt for insane locations to take selfies that will make you extremely anxious, just like this one. This time, he had a couple of friends with him on top of a building with the Hong Kong skyline as the backdrop. The extremely small rooftop is making us pretty nervous. I mean, how did they even get on top of there? And it really makes you wonder how they don't 
get dizzy looking down. Or maybe the trick is not to. Shenzhen, China. Another adventurer taking things to new heights. Daniel Liu has over 110,000 followers on Instagram. With his crazy collection of photos on top of skyscrapers, bridges, and towers. It doesn't even look like he's holding on to anything in these photos. In Shenzhen, China, where he is towering high above the ground. His lopsided selfie is not helping matters either. It looks like he's seconds away from falling, but sure enough, he was fine and continues to post similar images to his account regularly. The Storm Chasing Volcano Selfie A tornado-based storm chaser known as George Coronas took an awesome selfie in front of this active volcano. We are glad he is at least wearing a protective mask and suit in front of the bubbling lava. He really is a storm chaser, and this picture really proves that. We are glad he made it out safely, and now he has one of the most wicked shots he could ever take for his social media profile picture. Selfie with Jesus How could having a picture taken with Jesus Christ be dangerous, if possible at all? In all likelihood, you'd recognize a picture of the famous Jesus the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, standing over 120 feet tall and perched on top of the 2,300 foot mountain. The iconic statue is very impressive. Most people would be terrified to climb up onto that location of the famous structure. Travel company founder Lee Thompson not only did that, but he climbed to the statue itself and snapped a rather dangerous looking selfie on the arm of the massive concrete Jesus. Fighter pilot selfie. Humans are fascinated with flying. When the pinnacle of this activity for many is being behind the controls of a fighter jet, in this case, the fighter is an F-16, belonging to the Royal Netherlands Air Force. You may be thinking this doesn't look so dangerous, but consider the skill required to operate the jet in all its controls. Now, take into account that the pilot must maintain close formation with other planes, one of them a large 787 Dreamliner, while also operating his aircraft. Trembling Selfies Wu Yongning is known for his absolutely insane photos and videos of himself on top of skyscrapers. During an unfortunate incident, the 26-year-old fell to his demise in November 2017, after from a 62-story building in Shangsha, China. No, it wasn't this one. He always posted video footage doing crazy stunts and hanging off the edge of buildings with no safety gear whatsoever. In his final moment, he was trying to pull himself off up the ledge, but lost his grip in the process. He is proof that no matter how often you practice a stunt, it can end very badly. On top of the world, Iceland's Valley of Thor is a breathtaking sight to see that should definitely be on your bucket list. But traveler and adventurer Max Rive took it one step further and got his risky shot standing right on the edge. That would not be a gentle tumble down, so we're glad he kept his balance and didn't fall. The Southern Iceland Nature Reserve is nestled between three glaciers. It's a must when visiting the area, but don't stand right on the edge. The Crane Selfie If one thing is for certain, it's that people love building things. If there's a second certainty, it is that people love climbing things that are being built. Look across the internet. You'll find numerous examples of adventure seekers climbing unfinished buildings, especially construction cranes. These cranes are often very high and attract people like British free runner James Kingston. Here, James has finished scaling a massive crane in Bangalore, India. In addition to taking in the views, he snapped a selfie to show the dangerous and dizzying heights he'll go to. Would you? More bear selfies. They can look cuddly and cute, but bears obviously can also be dangerous. While they don't normally attack humans, a startled or hungry bear or a mother with cubs can pose a problem to people when too close. Adding to this equation is the increasingly popular trend of taking pictures with bears, and you definitely get a dangerous selfie. As this selfie shows, we might be all smiles when we think of the likes we are about to get on Facebook. The bear is probably all smiles too, as they picture you like a delicious meal or play toy. Plane crash selfie. Ferdinand Pune had his GoPro video camera rolling when a small plane he was in crashed into the ocean, deciding to leave the camera rolling rolling, he flipped the device around, capturing this selfie with the sinking plane in the background. Tragically, one of 
Puno's fellow passengers died in the plane crash. Puno and others were later rescued via helicopter and brought safely to shore. Shot for the photo. Forget running with the bulls, try running and taking a selfie in front of a bull. The unknown runner put his life at risk, but hey, he managed to get this shot. It's reported that after this incident, police began a manhunt for him because it is against the law for participants to take photos during the run. When climbing on a steep roof, you must take a selfie. Okay, maybe not, but Benjamin Wong sure did. This shot is even more dangerous because his body is completely turning away to look at the view. We get it, Australia is absolutely breathtaking, but maybe you could wait till you're on a sturdier surface to check out the views. Just a thought. But all jokes aside, the sky mountains and vast fields of lush greenery make this a stunning picture. What's the most dangerous selfie you've taken? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.